In this video, we're going to go over the basics of installing the fuel filter conversion kit on 11 to 16 Ford Power Strokes. Keep in mind if you're going to be installing the engine mounted fuel filter delete block, we want to do that after we have installed the conversion kit, have the truck running, and allow that engine mounted filter to catch any debris that may have gotten into the system. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the fittings and the mounting studs into the conversion kit filter head. As you can see, uh, one of the fittings uh, will get an extension on it. Um, the rest of them, it, it's just the fitting getting threaded into the filter head. These are O-ring threads. Uh, they don't require any tape. Um, there'll be supplied O-rings on all of the fittings. Once that's done, we're going to remove the factory plastic cap and the filter from the pump module and install the billet cap. Um, the billet cap has a stop on it just like the factory cap does, so we're going to tighten it up until it contacts the stop. And if we need to just back it off a little bit to make sure that the two fittings are facing uh, forward, that's perfectly fine. Once that's done, we're going to install the billet uh, fuel pump outlet fitting. You're going to disconnect the factory outlet line um, that'll get connected to a hose later on. We'll install the fitting and we'll take uh, easiest thing is needle nose pliers, install the retaining clip into that fitting. Once that's done, we're going to install the, the frame bracket for the filter head itself. Um, you'll have about 15 feet of hose in the kit. That should be enough to mount the filter head anywhere within three feet of your factory uh, pump. So once that's done, we're going to uh, go ahead and install the hose retainer bracket onto the frame. Uh, you'll install this about halfway in between the filter head and the factory fuel pump. Once this is done, go ahead and install the filter head onto the frame bracket from the outside and then uh, you'll install the two uh, flange head retaining nuts from the inside. Uh, tightening those up to roughly about 18 to 20 foot-pounds. So once this is done, you're going to go ahead and start installing lines. Uh, in the instructions that are supplied with the kit will show you uh, what fittings uh, go to what ports on the filter head and also on the factory fuel pump and you'll have a diagram there that shows you what lines uh, you know go again from what port on the filter head to which port on the factory fuel pump. The first two lines will go through the uh, frame bracket that will be the front two lines on the filter head um, then the rear port lines on the filter head will, will get zip tied to those first two hoses. Uh, once that's done, just make sure that the hoses are routed you know, properly, they're not kinked, and you know, not rubbing against something. As you can see, this uh, truck that we installed this kit onto also has our injection uh, return filter kit. Those two kits work perfectly.